Good morning, students. Let's start today lesson number five, fractions. Now, what is fraction? Fraction is a part of whole. What is a fraction? Fraction is a part of whole. What is fraction? Fraction is a part of whole. See, this is complete circle. Yes, fraction is a part of whole. This is whole. Now, if we make the part, see. Suppose this whole part is, is divided into two equal parts. See, that is half. See, this is half. See, it is whole. This is whole. On this, if I will keep this like this way. See, this is half part. Okay. So, see, this part is half equally divided. See, this part is half. Okay, now one third part, one third part. See each part. Now see these parts are one third parts. Okay, see one third. One, two, three. This whole, see, this is whole. Whole, it is divided into two equal parts. So we got half part. See, one upon two, one upon two. See, half parts are there. Okay, are you able to see? See, half part. Yes. Now same whole now divided into three equal parts. So each part is one third part. See. This part, this part, this part. So it is divided into three equal parts. Now see. Next one. See. One fourth. One fourth. See. This is one fourth part. Yes. So this figure is divided into four equal parts. So this part is called one fourth part. Okay. Then see now, same. It is divided into five equal parts. See, one, two, three, four, five. These are five equal parts. So one fifth each part is one fifth. Okay. Then next, see, this figure is divided into six equal parts. See one, two, three, four, five, six. This figure is divided into six equal parts. Okay. Now same way. Figure is divided into seven equal parts. See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each part is one seventh. See this is one of the one part from all of this seven part. This is one part from all of this seven part. Okay, so each part is one upon seven, one seven. Okay, now I will do eight equal parts. I am showing you. This is first part. Okay, second part, third part, fourth part, fifth part. Sixth part, seventh part, and eighth part. So, what is fraction? What is fraction? Fraction is a part of whole. Fra fraction is a part of whole. See, now this is whole. Now this figure is divided into two equal parts. So, half part. Okay, this figure is divided into three equal parts. So each part is one third part. This figure is divided into four equal parts. So each part is one fourth part. This figure is divided into five equal parts. So each part is one fifth part. Okay, this figure is divided into six equal parts. So each part is one sixth. Okay, this figure is divided into seven equal parts. So each part is one seventh. This figure is divided. I have shown uh, each and every part. I have shown here now. Each part is one eighth part. Okay, means out of it, this this is one of the part. Yes. 
okay so what is fraction fraction is a part of whole what is fraction fraction is a part of whole see let's learn fraction as a division what is division division means equal sharing division means equal sharing now suppose see, i have three pizzas with me i have three pizzas with me and i have to distribute these three pizzas among four students i have three pizzas with me and i have to distribute these three pizzas among four students so what i will do first i will have to how many stu students i have to distribute four four students so first pizza four part i will do okay so see this is the first pizza four part i will do four parts okay so each one of them will get one fourth part from this yes one fourth part from this four students are to distribute so one part for one student another part for another one students third students this part will get them four students this part will get okay again for this pizza so pizza so i will make four equal parts okay again from this one one part each of them i will give Again, for short pizzas, I will make equal parts. Okay. So now, see how many total parts I got now. Twelve. How many total parts I got now? Twelve total parts I got. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve equal parts I got. And I have with me four students. So each one of them, how much it will get? Each student will get how many parts? Three parts each student will get. Four students I have. Four threes are twelve. So three four part. So how much it will get for each one of them? Each one of them they will get three parts. Each one one part everyone will get from this one part. Each student got from this one part. Each student got and from this one part. Each student got. So total, how many parts each student got? Every student got three parts from this pizza. Now let's see example one. Write the following divisions as a fractions. Write the following divisions as a fractions. Okay. Now see this is given division three divided by seven. Three divided by seven. So how to write this as a fraction? Three upon seven. Three divided by seven. How to write as a fraction? Three upon seven. Five divided by nineteen. How to write as a fraction? Five upon nineteen. Five upon nineteen. See, this part is called numerator and this part is called denominator. See. This part is called numerator and this part is called denominator. Let's solve example number three. What fraction of a day is eight hours? What fraction of a day is eight hours? Okay, means eight hours means how much part is of whole day? Eight hours means how much part is of whole day? Okay, what fraction of day? A day means whole day. A day means it is Whole day, whole. Whole means one day, and one day means now see. It is asked in the hours. So unit should be the same. It is given day. So convert into hours. One day means twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. Yes. So now whole day means one day. One day means twenty-four hours. Now what we have to find? Eight hours means how much part it is? Eight hours means how much part? So part. How much part it is? Eight hours given. See so here we have to make the units same. Huh? See it is given in hours. Hours. Okay. Hours means. See, one day means twenty-four hours. So we have converted day into hours. Okay. So we have converted one day. One day means twenty-four hours. Okay. So 
8 hours means how much part of 24 hours 8 hours means how much part of 24 hours so required fraction we have to find the fraction na how much part it is so required fraction is equal to part upon part upon whole part upon whole whole means whole means one day one day means 24 hours so we have to find 8 hours means how much part of whole day 8 hours means how much part of whole day so part upon whole how much parts are there 8 so 8 upon whole means 24 hours see units are same hours hours then only we can find the proper answer otherwise you will get wrong 8 ones are 8, 8 threes are 24, so 1 upon 3. So, what fraction of day is 8 hours? One third fraction of a day is 8 hours. Let's solve question number 2. Identify the error in any, in each of the following figure. In each of the following figure. Okay, so now see in this first one figure. Shaded portion is one third. Can you observe in this figure? Shaded portion is one third. No. Shaded portion doesn't represent one third. Can you observe in this figure? It is one third. Can see, you will say one, two, three. Three parts are there. So this shaded parts so one third. No, but parts are equal. No, here parts are equal. No. Yes, here parts are not equal. If parts are equal and from that if one part is shaded then that figure is one third. Yes, that shaded part is one third part. Okay, but if you will observe in this figure, parts are not equal. Part C, this part is big. This is different. This, it is different. So, parts are not equal. Okay, so shaded portion is not one third. So what do we write? Shaded portion doesn't represent one third. Shaded portion doesn't represent one third. Now you see second figure. Observe the given figure. Shaded portion is 3, 4. Shaded portion is 3, 4. No. Shaded portion, can you observe in this? Shaded portion is 3, 4. No. First, what we, how we should do? We should divide this figure into 4 equal parts. And from that 4 equal parts, 3 parts it should be the shaded properly. Then only that figure is 3, 4. So, shaded portion doesn't represent 3, 4. So, shaded portion doesn't represent 3, 4. So, let's solve question number 3. What fraction of an hour is 20 minutes? Now, you have learned this type of example. Yes? What fraction of an hour? What fraction of an hour? One hour? Whole means? One hour? See. Whole. One hour. Okay. See so it is given of an hour is 20 minutes. It is asking the minutes. So this hour also will convert in the minutes. 1 hour, 60 minutes. 1 hour means 60 minutes. Okay. Now, what fraction of an hour is 20 minutes? 20 minutes, how much fraction it is? Okay, of 1 hour. 20 minutes means how much part of fraction of 1 hour? Okay. So, part 20 minutes. 20 minutes means how much part it is of fraction? Okay. So, 
Required fraction, what we will do? Required fraction. Part upon whole. Yes? Part upon whole. Whole part, how much it is? One hour. One hour means 60 minutes. And how much part it is? This is 20 minutes. Okay? So 20 upon whole means how much it is? 60 minutes. Okay? So this 0, this 0 get cancelled. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. What will come say? 2 upon 6 will be here. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. 1 upon 3. So what fraction of an hour is 20 minutes? 1 third of 1 third fraction of an hour is 20 minutes. 1 third fraction of an hour is 20 minutes. Let's solve this example. What fraction of numbers from 1 to 15 are prime? What fraction of numbers from 1 to 15 are prime? See total numbers how much? 15. 1 to 15 means how much? Total numbers are 15. Total numbers are 15. Total numbers. How many total numbers? 15 numbers. Okay. Now what it is asked how, what fraction of numbers from 1 to 15 are prime? Now first we will find the prime numbers. Prime numbers from 1 to 15. Okay. Prime numbers. Which are the prime numbers from 1 to 15? 2. What is mean by prime number you know now? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 30. The number which come at its own table and one table. Then that numbers are called prime numbers. The numbers which come in itself and one table. That numbers are called prime numbers. So now from 1 to 15 which are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. So how many are, how many prime numbers? 6 prime numbers we have. How many prime numbers we have? 6 prime numbers we have 6. And total numbers are 15. So what fraction of numbers from 1 to 15 are prime? 6 upon 15. 6 numbers, prime numbers. How many prime numbers are there from 1 to 15? 6 prime numbers are there. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6. From how many total numbers? Total numbers are it has given 15. So 6 upon 15 we got. Okay, now do the reduce term for this. 6 upon 15. See. Both the numbers are divisible by 3. 3 twos are 6. 3 fives are 15. So what is the answer? 2 upon 5. What fraction of numbers from 1 to 15 are prime? 2 fifths.